Alright guys, welcome back to Canadian Ocelot. So today, I'm bringing you another GTA 5 video, and this time, it's going to be 5 simple and easy wall breaches to do in GTA Online. Now, as a disclaimer before this video starts, for some of these wall breaches, for example, I'll show you this one right here, or right on the beach, and this is the location. This is a part of the video, by the way, but just to show you. So, on this particular server, whenever I enter this wall breach, it does that. Automatically just kills me. So, these wall breaches are server dependent, so some servers you're on, uh, lobbies, whatever you prefer to say, this, these will work, and some, as you can see, will not. But with that display mail of the way, let's get started. Alright, so the first location is going to be right here at the Vespucci Canals and Imagination CT. And here is location on your screen. And now once you want to get here, it is, it's really simple. Like the rest of these wall breaches, you climb on this fence, make sure not to fall. Walk forward, press X to climb in. And voila. Now this is an alright wall breach. It's not really anything too much special. You can sh you can shoot out of some of the sides, as you can see. But they'll get caught on windows and such. And you can also shoot down here. Like so. But yeah, other than that, there's not really much to this one. Just uh Give the location one more time. Nice little wall breach if you're in the area, if you need to hide or want to do some RP grinding. And other than that, let's move on to the second wall breach of this video. Alright, for the second wall breach of this video, all you need is a car for this one. And the location is at a Ron gas station. As you can see, clearly see it. Up. Oh. In the morning wood at this location by a movie theater and clothing store. And so yeah, once you get to those location you wanna park your vehicle like so and you wanna jump on top of the vehicle and then you want to press X about where I just did. It might take you a few tries, and then just jump on in. So this one is a little more interesting than the last wall breach as it's a little interior, other players can... Oh, first person is not good for this. Other players can see you through the glass for this one. A little bit of an interior. And yeah, this might not seem like much. You can easily hide in one of these if you, if you so wish. And then you can just walk through the walls there. And then that's where you can shoot outside the walls for this wall breach. Excluding where the doors are on the outside, where, as you can see. And yeah, it's a pretty good wall breach in my opinion. Not the best, but it's a pretty good one. There's plenty of spots to shoot out, and players can see in, which is what I like. And yeah. And yeah, the way you exit this wall breach, since you can't jump out, um, where the way you came back in, the only way is to, um, is to take the easy way out. And, yeah, with the second wall breach complete, let's move on to the third wall breach. Alright, for the third wall breach in this video, you're going to need a car for this wall breach. And here is the location, in Rockford Hills, close to a barber shop, right here and a clothing store. So once you get here, you want to park your car as so. Climb on... Whoops. Climb on top of your car, and you want to go up as close as you can, and tap X. Now if you go too far in this wall breach, you will fall through. So keep that in mind. And you want to walk over here, and voila. So you can shoot through this glass right here, and 
players cannot shoot through except explosives still kill you, so just a warning. And yeah, there's not really much to this world, which is quite simple. Lots of places you can shoot out of, which is really good if you're hiding from other players or the cops. And yeah, not too much to this wall breach. So the way you exit this wall breach, gosh I'm saying wall breach so many times, is just like that. Fall off the edge of the map. And then voila! You out of this wall breach and hey, I'm actually close to my vehicle. And with that out of the way, let's move on to the fourth and second wall breach second last wall breach of this video all right so the fourth wall breach for this video it is in cypress fats on the map as you can see on your screen right here closer to an ammunition but it's ammunition is close to the main road but it still gives you a general idea where this wall breach is located and yeah once you get here um the way i do it is i take an suv and then climb on top of the SUV, press X to climb onto the roof here, and go back around, following this um, piping slash tubing of some sort. Climb over here, climb onto this pipe, press X while on this pipe, towards the wall, and voila, you're in the wall breach. Which now, you, you can be bulletproof as long as you're sticking out, you can shoot through in any direction and here we go and there's two sides to it and another little factor of this wall breach is you slide out just like that that blunder but anyways now that we're back in you can shoot out in many directions you can fall out very easily which is kind of the disadvantage and you can also shoot out the, the bottom, the top, the sides, anywhere, as long as you don't hit those goddamn windows. And yeah, other than that, the way you exit the wall breach, obviously, is just climb up onto the roof here, and you're out. Now with this wall breach all the way, let's move on to the fifth and final wall breach in this video. Alright guys, for the fifth and final wall breach in this video I am here in Elboro Heights is the location for this wall breach right on your screen and is close to a tattoo parlor well not close but in the general area but yeah once you get up here and what I mean by up here is on top of this building I'll quickly show you the way to get up here by land or by foot or rather by air. I'll show you the way how to get up here by foot right now. So yeah, once you are up here, at the location, all you need to do is come over to this wall right here, press X, voila, you're in. And now you can shoot out most of the sides, but as you can see, where the dust is coming off the walls, you cannot shoot out in some places, or with these windows here, or well, some windows I guess, huh, well three windows. Six windows you can shoot out of. Oh, seven windows. You can shoot out the side, the top, but the bottom, nope, it's a solid. So the way you get out of this wall breach is simple. You get up, you climb up, you walk over to where you came into this wall breach, press X to climb out of the wall breach, and voila, you're out of the wall breach. So with that out of the way, thank you guys all for watching my video on 5 simple and easy to do wall breaches in GTA Online. 
And with this video, I hope you found it useful and enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next video. Take care.